So I started rapping in like sixth grade. Believe me, it was trash. Cause at that time when we had rapping, like as far as our audience, just think about it. Bow Wow, Soldier Boy. I fucked with Bow Wow. Hey, but I fucked with Bow Wow tough on, on the on the real. I did, but then I ain't we. Fuck with Soldier. My mom bought me two Soldier Boy CDs, two Christmases in a row. I never asked for them, and I never listened to either of them because Your I'm like. Mom bought you some Soldier Boy CDs for Christmas. Bro, she, she bought stuff. me the first one and she bought me the second one. She must have liked it one of the songs. I don't know why she did that. She bro. thought that she was hot. I don't know why she did that, but she I did not. No. You. The coldest. The funniest the shit he ever said. Shot that nigga. Love you like the east side, rolling with my mans And I just want a lifetime supply of vans And when I ain't in the wheels, I can put it comfortably Shout out to the niggas who really fuck with me I got a car with no keys, cause my mama petty Used to throw back to Remy with my boys like my name was Fetty Gotta keep the work steady like a work study program Out the money and you know yeah. Just because I'm disconnected is two Two of the songs that's off of my EP that I dropped last summer uh, just because it's definitely my favorite because it's like it got a fun ass vibe to it and then on top of that it samples uh Kaylani's song niggas and it's like one of my favorite songs by her so, this is all the stuff that i grew up on al green and like, stay together like these are classics like, ray charles T supremes Stevie Wonder, you know this is a classic too, cause that nigga from here. It's like Joe Budden, and then Soldier Boy, like Ultimate Flops. Ultimate Flops. <laughs> like, <laughs> and only reason I say Joe Budden is because he be trying to play everybody, but bro had doing? one hit. Yeah, hey, what's up? Bro had. One hit, and that was in like 2002, 2003, and that was Pump It Up. And the only reason that people really like that song is because it was on, it was on, uh, what movie was that? Um, You Got Served. Yeah. It's the only reason that people like that movie, because that's the only reason I like that song. It was dancing too. They was, was, they was turned up. They turned some actors, matter of fact, some singing, man. This niggas turned your song go, Joe. So if, if it wasn't for B2K, Joe Budden probably wouldn't even have a hit. Cause the video was like too for his, his for that song. You'd have been like an unheard Saginaw rapper, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he be hating on everybody. He be hating too. You know he, you know he got his own shit. little show. He got a show. I just be seeing like the little. So he clips. think he's playing real love? Not a show, like a TV show. He do like a kind of like like what they say is like doing like interviews and stuff with different artists. But then he be trying to roast them while they be on there. Like, this is not real rap. This is mumble rap. And rap. Like, just going in on people while they on the show. Like, he Tupac? He take Tupac responsibility? He hating. Like, he really How you criticizing in D2K? That's not Tupac. He be hating. Like, it's hardcore. You about to go viral for saying, I'm putting this on there. That's fine. I, we can <laughs> definitely go viral because. Go back and forth with this. We can definitely go back and forth because guarantee if I get on, I'm definitely going to have more than one hit. And I'm yeah. definitely going to have a better more. hit than Pump It Up. I think after this interview, she's going to have more hits than Joe Blake. Definitely, because I already got hits. they just not out yet. Yeah. Joe, don't be coming here trying to be for Flick Up. You're going to put me on, bro. Right. Don't, don't be out here trying on. to... Because we going to get on. Don't be out here trying to... Uh, we going to get on you. Play roles, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna pump, 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 pump. <laughs> <laughs> After this video, my followers gonna pump, 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 cause they gonna be like, "Oh, she dissing Joe." I'm like, nah. Yeah, we feel no, like he that. was already whack. <laughs> he was Is already he? a dick. <laughs> <day. laughs> <laughs> I ain't dissing. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> I am Joe. like Joe. <laughs> No. Stop playing with people, especially Drake. Yo. Cause you already know how Drake do. Drake can come for anybody. You don't care who you believe. Drake ain't paying back for bush. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'm just saying though. Hey. He ain't come back for pushing. See, no, he did though. You have to listen to his album. 
Have you listened to it? Have you listened to his album? It's time limit. You can just imagine how wide my range of music is just listening to all of this. On top of listening to 80s rap, 90s rap, and rap now. It's a lot of different shit. Yeah, rap now ass. Rap now is definitely ass. That's why I kind of stay in that 90s, 2000s room. That was like the killer part of rap. Now... Niggas be on some bullshit. Music, I like to do, I like soul music. And I like real rap. Like people that actually rap about what they do. And like, people that's not afraid to rap their feelings. Like. But it's a lot of people that I be, uh, that I actually do want to work with though. That's from here. Like who? Um, I really want to work with Miko. Miko Supreme. He is dope as fuck and as far as like Saginaw artists he's definitely one of my favorites him and um Max Healy duh we uh we chopped it up a couple times about working together but we just haven't gotten the studio yet but it's a lot of it's a lot of people that I really do want to work with because I want to try a lot of different sounds and try to just uh, widen my variety of music and like different songs that I have because I do a lot of different type of shit. So I just want to kind of get my feet wet and you know work my way around different type of sounds and shit like that. Drake wasn't in jail. Drake already had shit on the way though. That was his point. That Drake he was, was at the front of the court. <laughs> but just, bro, <laughs> even though he might have been at the front of the court, but just check this out though. Even if they did have a beef and he had that one little song, just look where Drake album is at on the charts, and then look where Push album at on the charts. Is he even on the charts right now? You know what I'm saying? Is Push I'm even? To play push. He's I'm not trying to play Push. I'm not He's trying to play legend. Push, but I'm just saying. Look at Kree Jacks has some good ass chicken, and I just think that's because they got black people working there. But on the, on yeah, the real the black shit, people do uh, that's all the like food. Somebody grandma in the back directing the team. But if you just want some real, just fuck that white people shit. Like, I'm not trying to be racist. But if you just want some. Bro, ain't nothing racist about white people not knowing how to cook. No, I'm just saying, like. Bro, they got stove tops and stuff it. Fuck that. You want some good ass soul food? <laughs> go to Detroit and go to Southern Fires. Southern Fires is like the best shit. In Michigan, as far as so, as far as I know, man. stove top stove. Bro, fuck them in that nasty ass stove top. Cause niggas around here is making real dressing. You took season salt to the restaurant, bro. It's an accident. Let me tell you about Zinners. Bro, they put niggas behind the seasoning for that nasty ass chicken. Yeah, that shit was good, but I worked Bro, that was the most disrespectful shit I ever seen happen to chicken in my life. Mm -hmm. they, put, they put noodle seasoning in every chicken, bro. That's, that's fucking disgusting. When you come in season, it's like, That's fucking disgusting. Anybody who do that shit deserves to only, be slapped in the face. The only flavor on that chicken was the grease that was cooked in. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. That shit.